Tessman from StampYourArtOut.com and in this video I'll be showing you some out-of-the-box ideas I came up with using the contents of the February 2015 My Paper Pumpkin Kit from Stampin' Up! titled Layers of Gratitude. In this kit you'll get enough supplies to make eight accordion 3D cards and box-shaped envelopes. You can put together your cards as is according to the directions and create fabulous pinnable projects quickly with no creativity required because the kits include everything that you need including the stamps and the ink, pre-cut and scored papers and envelopes, embellishments, special adhesives, the directions. Stampin' Up! even puts out a how-to video. Or you can go beyond and think outside the paper pumpkin box. In my videos, I show you how to create alternate projects with the contents of the paper pumpkin kits. I share all sorts of fun projects in videos and on my blog. Let me just show you a few here. I even share more ideas privately with my personal paper pumpkin subscribers. These are little puppets. <laughs> Follow me on Pinterest and the ideas will never end. Not a subscriber yet? you'll want to be after checking out what can be created with these very affordable kits. I'm excited to share, so let's get started. Keep in mind that any extra tools that I use in this video can be purchased from me in my online store. Because I have so many ideas to share, I've separate, separated them into two videos, so you're watching part one of two right now. This is the actual project that you're supposed to make. Here's the 3D box card and accordion, or I'm sorry, box envelope and the accordion card that you are to create with the kit. You can see the felt letters here. And the two colors are Pool Party and Daffodil Delight. Okay. You'll notice how many sections there are also on the accordion card. So what I did next is I took and I cut that into four separate little cards. And I did that with a couple of them so that I, I created a bunch of little cards here, so mini cards. This one has the color Pool Party on it. I stamped off to get the two different tones. I also took just a scrap of the felt. And here I took the twine and separated it into two, two um, pieces. So I separated the white out of there, so I just had the orange twine. This little scrap here is surrounding the H, the letter H. And I was still playing around with just the Pool Party color. I didn't like the way this looked though because the words didn't stand out enough. So then I tried to use the Daffodil Delight and the Pool Party on the card and I still felt that the colors were too close to each other. So then I introduced black. I think that adding a black ink pad or a darker ink pad to this um, kit will help out and make the colors a little bit more um, vibrant. And same thing with this one. It just there was not a big difference. I just wanted to say thanks and oh I didn't even finish that one. <laughs> and here I used that just the white twine because I put the black on there I think it just makes it really stand out. So I recommend adding at least a black ink or a dark ink to this kit. So, so then after I had the black um, ink added to my little repertoire I then made another version of the main card. And I really like the way that looks. It just makes that orange stand out. Okay. Before I begin on the Project Life pages, I just want to show you a scrapbook page that I created using a technique called bokeh, B-O-K-E-H. It's a term in photography um, that refers to the light spots that you see. And so in paper crafting, it's really popular nowadays to take white ink and um, make it circular um, and stamp, you know, stamp or rub the ink on so that you have these circular patterns that give that appearance of little light spots that are blurry. So, so because we have the circular stamps in this paper pumpkin box, I thought how fun it would be if we can kind of create that pattern. I'm going to take my stamp and pierce mat. This is one that I don't cut into and just some scrap paper and put that on top and then um, a white piece of whisper white piece of cardstock that I just took. Now you could use 
the cards. If you're making a smaller scrapbook page, you could use the accordion card and cut it down into a little section, but it is smaller than what will fit in the Project Life pocket. So I'm just using some Whisper White cardstock. Then I'm going to take my stamp pad and for speed, I'm going to use the larger Pool Party ink pad. I'm stamping off. Oops, we want to get a little bit more color in there. Stamping off and then I'm going to put it right down onto the paper. I'm going to do that randomly. The stamp and pierce mat is just, it makes it easier for the photopolymer stamps to stamp more clearly, especially these solid large ones. If you're using a regular table underneath, you might not get that flat um, flatness that you need for those stamps. Plus. Did you see how I try to cover up that mistake? <laughs> All right, so there we have um, kind of the reverse of bouquet, just some random dots. And now I'm going to show you how to do the bouquet technique, but without using sponges. Normally I would use sponges because it would be nice and quick and easy, sponges or daubers. But I'm going to use just our ink pads, our ink spots that come in the kit. This is called direct to paper. It's a technique of just rubbing your stamp pad directly onto your paper. And you kind of want to do circular motions or you're going to get that square look. Let's put a little more yellow down here. So you could just leave that as is, it's really pretty. But we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to add a white stamp pad. So before we added black, now we're using the white craft stamp pad. If I didn't want to use my stamps, I would create a little stencil here, dab on my ink, like this, make a stencil from the window sheet, and just go in a circular pattern to create circular dots. But I have my stamps, and I don't want you guys to have to buy every single thing that is in my online store. <laughs> so instead, we're just going to use the stamp itself to create a circle. And I'm using a pad that is not pure white, not fully inked. Um, this one's kind of my dirty one. It's been you know, added, a little bit of ink has been added to it. And then do you notice what I'm doing with the ink? I'm kind of making it have a little bit of a swirl look to it. Okay, so now when I stamp down, it kind of has that same effect that I had on the, um, th with this type of application, where you take and you rub it in circles. Okay, let me show you that page again real quick. You can kind of see that circular motion a little bit. Maybe not. Okay, so let's do some more. So you can see that effect done just with the stamps. Here's another one. You'll also notice that there's a little bit of a shine to it. That means the ink is not dry. So you'll want to leave this sit overnight or you could take a heat gun to it to dry it. Another thing that might help is just to take a tissue and blot as much ink off as you can. That'll help the drying process. I'll be right back after this is dry. So next I took the letters S, H, and H, so two S's and an H, and peeled them off, stuck them down here. It's going to be a, as you can tell, like a baby sleeping kind of scrapbook page here. Um, and then I took these pieces of felt that were just along the edge next to the T and cut them into banners just with my scissors, my snips, put three along here, used some glue dots from the last paper pumpkin kit and stuck those on to put on little tiny bows made with the twine that comes in our kit. So that's what it's going to look like. So you can imagine little baby sleeping pictures all along here. Won't that be cute? All right. So now we're going to have a little fun. What I thought about was what else can I do with all the felt pieces that I have left over? So I took a couple of these, cut them off, and I had some leftover blocks of wood because 
I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, so of course I do. <laughs> okay, well, anyways, I'm not going to stick that one on because I like the design I have right now. But I just made a little stamp. And now you can take your ink pad, whatever color you like, ink it up, and stamp. They look like teeth. <laughs> Isn't that fun? So you can make your own stamps out of the felt and blocks of wood or something hard to put the felt on. Here's another one that I did and I made a fun little mosaic design. Okay. Another idea is, you know how all these porcelain and glass fix, uh, decorations in your house have the felt pads underneath them? Well, I am a rock collector. I love rocks. And I have these rocks that are sitting on my piano and every time I pick them up to clean off the top of the piano. I'm really, really worried about scratching up my piano. So now you can take and put your extra felt on the bottom. And then you don't have to worry about your rocks scratching. Oh, nice and soft. Here's another one. Oh, this one had a lot of sharp edges. See, now it's nice and soft. And you know, if you think about it, this looks like stalactites and stalagmites. <laughs> yes, I love rocks. All right, on to the last project for this video. We're going to make a cute little booklet. I did to prepare the booklet so far. I took and cut the pages and then I figured out with the ruler where the middle would be and equal spacing so that I had five punctures in each piece down the middle and then I just put them all together and pierced. Then I took those same measurements and for the cover and the back of the book I made sure that there was a little bit of an edge there and pierced holes along both pieces so that they had the same distance. And now I'm going to go ahead and do what's called the Coptic Stitch. it on to part of the envelope and there you have your finished booklet. And now let's go over all the things that I've made with this paper pumpkin kit on videos one and two. We have the traditional pages done with the Easter eggs. We have the thank you card. We have the little Easter bunny treat basket bag thingy with eggs all over it. We have our stitched booklet, little journal, 
We of course have little mini note cards. We have the black and white version of the card that you make with that kit. And we did some fun things with the felt, like putting them on the bottom of rocks so that when they're put on top of my piano, they don't scratch the piano. And of course, our stamps that we made with the leftover felt pieces. We have our Project Life page done with that bouquet technique. Oops, it goes this way. <laughs> and we also made our little crayon box closing uh, box of picks, pictures. And again, these would be great for putting um, class photo size photos in. So if you have a teenager or a young kid who's doing the paper pumpkin kits, just attach two of those together. This is awesome for that. And of course, then we have what you're supposed to make with the kit, the, the card and the, the box. So thank you for watching. It builds creativity to think outside the box. Be sure to go to my YouTube channel and subscribe so that you can catch more paper pumpkin videos that I've shared using past kits and more that I'll share with future kits. Also be sure to visit my blog at stampyourartout.com so you can view close-up photos of these projects and see photos of other past paper pumpkin kit ideas. Then to see some exclusive project ideas, get your paper pumpkin started with me. I hope you all enjoyed this video tutorial. Now I'd like you all to go and stamp your art out. Bye-bye.